What's up team, no boot review for you today. Instead, we're talking about insoles. I've got here with me the new Cleat Pro insoles from Curex. I'm gonna put them through a training session and let you guys know how they perform. So let's get into it. Before we get started, I just wanna talk about exactly what the Curex Cleat Pro insoles are meant to do. Basically, they're designed to fill the dead space inside your boots. That's gonna prevent you slipping and sliding around inside your boots. It's also gonna disperse the weight more evenly across the boot, so hopefully you're not gonna get as many pressure points. Basically, if you really wanna try a boot and it just doesn't fit you in the correct way, these Curex Cleat Pro insoles could potentially change the way that those boots fit you. The insoles come in three different arch heights, so low, medium, and high, depending on what your foot shape is. I think I'm gonna be a medium. I don't have super flat feet and I don't have a super high arch either. So I'm guessing that the medium is gonna be the one for me. I'll try them all out and, uh, and make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing the mediums. You can see on the underside of the insoles, you've got this rigid plastic element that is meant to support the arch in your foot. And then you've got these two cushioned elements on the bottom as well to give you a little bit more cushioning and padding. Essentially, you could see these as a replacement for grip socks because they do have this non-slip grip element on the top of the outsole. They are actually meant to be an enhancement on the grip sock technology because they actually disperse the weight more evenly across your foot. So if you try grip socks, still getting those pressure points, you may want to try the Curex Cleat Pro insoles. Anyway, that's what they're designed to do, so let's see if they work. I'm going to start off this training session without insoles just to give you a sense of exactly how these boots fit and feel without the Curex Cleat Pro insoles and whether they make a difference when I put them in. I have got a wider than average foot shape and to me these boots feel pretty comfortable already although I am noticing a little bit of slippage in the heel and some slight dead space in the arch area. In most football boots you're standing on a pretty flat hard surface. The aim of these insoles is to provide a more ergonomic fit for the underside of your foot so if you're suffering from knee or ankle pain or a more severe condition like plantar fasciitis these could be a good solution but aside from that they're meant to be great for players who just want a more snug performance fitting boot. Okay, so quick warm up done and dusted, a few footwork drills just to get a sweat on and a feel for the boots and how they feel without the insoles. I did notice a little bit of dead space inside that arch area, so let's see if the Curex Cleat Pro insoles can fix that. So the idea is you just remove the boots existing insole, which in the Furon's case is kind of just a lightweight foam insole and replace it with the Cleat Pro insole. There is the option if you need to, to actually trim the ends of this outsole just to fit the toe box of your boot. So you can see that there's some little indentations, little guidelines here to help you in that trimming or cutting process. And uh, then, yeah, you just slip them into your boots. These ones seem to be fitting fine without trimming. And let's slip them on. Okay, automatically, even without standing up, I can feel that there's a lot less volume inside this boot, especially in that arch area that I was talking about during the warm-up. So that's a good sign. Okay, so I've got both inserts inside the boots now. Let's run through a few more drills and I'll let you know how they're feeling. While I run through these drills, I'm just gonna break down exactly how you're meant to choose between the three different sizing options. First, you identify your foot profile. There's four different profiles, high, medium, low, and flat. Next, you match that with your knee profile. So whether your knees are slightly externally rotated, straight, or slightly internally rotated. And then you combine the two to choose your insole. For example, I have a low foot profile and slightly externally rotated knees. So I'm a C1, which means I should go for the medium insert profile. Another good thing about these outsoles is that they can be interchanged based on the footwear that you're wearing. So if you're training and playing in different boots, or you've just bought a new pair of football boots, you can enjoy that same customizable fit experience no matter what you're wearing. So a few quick thoughts, having now worn the Cleat Pro inserts for a little while, it is a pretty dramatic reduction inside the boot, especially in that arch support area. And not that I had a lot of pressure points in these boots before I put the insoles in, but I did notice a better dispersion of weight across the underside of the boot, especially in the heel area and forefoot. Just feels like a bit more of a glove-like fit that wraps your entire foot. Especially in the heel section, you get this really rounded anatomical shape throughout the heel, which is gonna stop blisters and prevent you from moving around inside the shoe in that area as well. I will say because of the additional cushioning and rigid midfoot arch support, I do feel slightly higher in the boots than I did previously, but the overall improvement in comfort and lockdown definitely makes that trade-off worth it. You might be wondering about the additional weight that these outsoles might bring to your boots. So I brought my scales along, let's compare. So let's put these on the scales. So Featherlight, 10 grams there, just a foam insole. And as you'd expect, this is probably gonna weigh a little bit more. So that's 39 grams, slightly heavier than I was expecting, but based on all the technology packed into this, I think it's worth it. So you could consider that weight difference a slight drawback, although at only 30 grams, you're not gonna notice it at all on foot. And for the custom fit, I think it's worth it. 
So just finishing off the session now with a little bit more ball work and some shooting. Really enjoying these outsoles now that I've got used to that slightly higher platform. I can already feel the benefits of that improved stability when I'm moving from side to side, changing direction, and on my planting foot when I'm shooting at goal. At $60 a pair, the Cleat Pro isn't necessarily the cheapest soccer accessory, but you gotta ask yourself, how much would you pay for a pair of custom fitting boots? And if it means that you can wear the cleats that you wouldn't normally be able to, maybe it's worth it. So that was my take on the new Curex Cleat Pro insoles. Check them out if you're looking for a more customizable fit in your football boots. If you wanna buy a pair of the Cleat Pros, you can check them out now at soccer.com. And if you already own a pair, let me know what you think of them with a comment in the section below. Like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.